Now on this video I'm just going to show you how I attach my motorcycle to the trailer and tie it down. Now this trailer it's a two bike trailer although there's three runners in it the reason I've got three runners in it so I can use a center one when I'm using just a single bike just for to help the balance. Right guys so now I'm just untouching the um, part of the ramp I've just got it that it's secured when uh, I'm traveling whether the trailer's empty or full to save having it inside the uh, vehicle now so what I'm doing I'm attaching the, the ramp them two bolts into them two holes just to stop it slipping and just to have it secured and then just line it up as straight as you can with where the bike runs now she's all lined up either side of the trailer and that will attach to the back of the bike they're nice and firm there right this thing here it's a, a strap I don't like using but what it does it sits the two red bits go over the handle grips and it fits across the top of the handlebars and then you've got a ratchet strap what goes each side what attaches to each end and it pulls tight now this coat hanger is a hook that if I'm putting the bike on on my own I can just reach down and use it to hook up the straps to bring them towards me that I can still have my feet balanced on the motorcycle holding it in a strong place. Now this is the front of the trailer where I'm threading it through the eye there and that's the strap what actually comes up to the handlebar and I'm leaving it laying across like that that way I can get the hook underneath it to lift up and um, I'm doing the exact same on the other side and I'm going to also place that in a way that I can get my coat hanger or a wire hook whatever you may use to do the same now we're ready to load up once the bike's in position I always recommend that when you knock the engine off leave it in gear just to help it from stop rolling um, while you're securing it and also while it's actually in transit as well now as you can see that trailer it's an unbraked trailer so it's only suitable for two bikes in the middle or one each side of the middle runner but I had that custom made specially with a third runner for me just to suit me now as you can see I'm ratcheting down the front strap and also I've done the other side the exact same now the reason I'm wrapping this round is to shorten the strap to give me space that when I put the ratchet strap on it gives me actually a bit more um, scope that I can actually move it around to tie it down. Now I've only videoed one side of the back like this but I'm doing the exact same on the other side that I've got four straps and what you do you just make sure it's secure and when you've done the first few miles pull over and check your straps and then on part of your journey again every now and again keep an eye on your straps haven't they? they've not come loose because the value you your bike you know it's well worth strapping down well guys thanks for taking a look at this video I hope it actually is uh, useful for you don't forget leave a comment below uh, click like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel it'd be much appreciated if you could subscribe to help me now thank you very much until we meet again thank you